Okay then, so this is how you set it up for isometric on the iPad in version 2 of Affinity Designer. Okay, so I don't have grid showing at the moment, but now I do. And with the grid settings, I've got it set up so I can do isometric, 2 to 1 isometric, diametric, oblique, trimetric left, right, triangular, very nice, horizontal triangular, there's a whole list of them there. And we can just go for auto, standard, and there we get the isometric setting there. And you can change the spacing that you want in this bit here. So if you want to, it says 8.5 at the moment, so if you get rid of that and change it to uh, 10, click on OK. That'll change the sizes of the uh, spacing. And you can have a different gutter size in there as well as well if you want to. So maybe you want to have a gutter in there of, say, 5. OK. Don't think you really need to have a gutter in there, but then again, I don't do that much in the way of isometric, and maybe you do. So let's put that back to zero again. And then when you want to sort of uh, get drawing some stuff, let's uh, select some things here. Go to the um, the magnet tool up top here. Go to snapping options. You want to enable snapping and have it with this here snap to grid. So let's uh, say that snap to grid is working there. So I've got this object here. And I want it to uh, snap to this grid here. So I'll put one there. Put one up there. Then bring this down here so that it goes onto the uh, onto the grid, and then I can do the same with this one at the front here. Obviously, sometimes you need to go into this as really close as possible to make sure that it's going to snap properly. Okay, so that's all nicely snapping into place there. Grid snapping, lovely. So that's an easy way to get set up for doing isometric drawings. You've got a few choices in there. So if we go to this here, we can turn the grids off there and turn it back on. And so if you want to do any changes to it, you go into the grid settings. And then you've got this row of stuff at the top here, your grid mode, spacing, divisions, uh, let's try changing the divisions here. So let's change it to uh, 2 to see what that looks like. Okay, so that's put an extra bit in the middle there. You can change the colour of these as well. So if you want to have some of them in uh, blue or a darker colour, you can do that. Hope that's helped you out with setting things up for isometric in iPad Affinity version 2. I'm Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky. Subscribe to the channel while you're at it. Go on. You know you want to.